All right, so I look at the resumes here for this show, and it's like a big international cast. Like, it's kind of nice, and you'll probably share stories about all your countries, and you'll be visiting each other over the course of <laughs> the seasons. Am I correct? Yeah, I hope so. I hope we'll become really close, and we'll just yeah. hang out. I want to go down on that. <laughs> Down under, a little bit of sunshine. To Australia, that's what I mean. I know. Yeah, <laughs> just making it clear. Okay, very good. All right, so this is one of those shows where it doesn't just kind of come to a slow boil. You get to Comic Con and it's on. So you <laughs> changed very quickly, didn't you, when you yeah. walked into those corridors at Comic Con? Yes, it was pretty yeah. crazy. It was great, though. You know, like. Uh, I think all of the, the, the fans who were there for different shows, they were super cool, you know? Yeah. They go for it. They wear these funky outfits and they're super positive and yeah, it was a nice experience. But you see that power there. You see yeah. that they like something very quickly. Yeah. Is it a little bit scary and intimidating? It was a bit um, scary because I've just I've never experienced anything like that before, but everyone was so nice and so excited. Everyone I spoke to about the show was so excited and... I was signing autographs, which I've never done before, which was, you know, fun for me. <laughs> and it was just a whole new experience. <laughs> Do you remember? We had to sign lots of posters, and yeah. I was just changing my autograph. All yeah. The time. <laughs> I don't know. You've got to keep yourself entertained. But your worlds are both changing very quickly. And yeah, that's nice true. And you're playing these characters that people know, or they think they know, is what I think we should say, yes. right? Yes. Very good point. Exactly. Yeah. We know certain things about them. Um, more especially in Alice's case, but there's yeah. a whole new twist, right? Yeah, it's like a, it's the, you know, traditional Alice, but, you know, she's grown up and we'll get to see what happened to her after all those crazy experiences when she was younger and how it affected her and all that stuff, so. So if you've never watched Once Upon a Time, it really doesn't matter, does it? No, for no, sure. No, I don't think so at all. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, the fans of Once will definitely, you know, they want to be just, bleh. <laughs> <laughs> that's her. Um, so basically, she's yeah. She's auditioning for Star Wars. That's the, what, the language Jabba the Hutt yeah. speaks. Uh, blah, 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 blah. What I what I was saying <laughs> is um, they won't be disappointed. And if you're not a fan of Once, you can just jump in and you know follow the story of Alice in Wonderland, which is cool. So tell me about your costume. Okay. <laughs> Where do you want to start? Let's start with you. Sure. Well, first of all, you know, the costume department's fantastic. Yeah. They, they have some fantastic artists there who, you know, spot on. Um, my costume, it's a mix of different elements. It has that slight kind of, uh, you know, Arabian, like, bejeweled uh, element, <laughs> but bejeweled. also it's got, like, a, a kind of very modern fitted uh, pants with a, a little bit pants. of yeah, leather, swashbuckling, because, you know, it's very much a kind of uh, timeless action hero in a sense, you know? And what about you? Well, yeah, I have, um, in the flashback scenes, I have this, you know, amazing um, purple puffy dress. It's kind of like <laughs> traditional Alice, which I love. I love dresses like that. <laughs> I've always wanted to do a character where I get to wear something like that, so I love wearing that dress. But then there's also another side of her where she becomes a bit stronger and she falls in love and, you know, she m matures a lot and she starts wearing, you know, more f th uh, things that she can be more physical in, like pants and and just. But there's always that nice, like, magical element to her outfit. But there's also the Victorian stuff, where she's kind of older and dirty and. It's not as pretty as the Wonderland outfits. 